Why would people pay to see Molly Crew if the entire show was pre-recorded? This is the Rock and Roll Weather Man. My name is Sean Morrison. This past week, with um, Mick Mars filing a lawsuit against Motley Crue over moments over, t- I believe, the tour profits, that he feels he should be receive more tour profits now that he's no longer in the band. And um, another part of it is that um, he still said he would be able to perform or make limited appearances and that the band fully replaced him. Well, the question here is, if, if the show was pre-recorded like Mr. Mars has stated, and fans know this, why would they shell out insane ticket prices to, to see a show that is literally completely pre-recorded? Mr. Morrison personally would not. If you're not subscribed to the Show Morrison YouTube channel, please do so. Everyone else out there subscribe. We thank you very much for your continued love, honor, and support. It's greatly appreciated. Sean Morrison Enterprises is the place to go if you would like to make a small donation to the Sean Morrison YouTube channel. So, friends, and I know some of you did go out to see Motley Crue on the stadium tour, and even when they did a couple of more USD. I um, made dates in um, Atlantic City with Def Leppard. And I know he's paid big money to see the crew. And I would like to have your thoughts and opinions on if you think the show was a, um, a fully taped show on why spend the money to go. There are some people that have said that they know that the show is real and not fake. That's the case. I can see a reason why the person would still go. I have my opinions on some things being taped and some things not being taped. I just saw because, as you can remember, remember Vince Neil doing a solo show when he fell on the stage, stage, and the backup band and the backup vocals all of a sudden came on with the band. Actually, no, did the background vocals come on with the band on that one? Something happened, or he left the stage early. No, this was a different show when he left the stage early because he wasn't feeling right in the last song, and all of a sudden, the the chorus for Girls, Girls, Girls came on, and the band was backed by the drum riser. So, something like that, you, you have to, you can't explain that, that that those vocals weren't fake, but, you know, in this day and age, no, ticket prices are honestly insane, extremely off the roof. Sometimes ticket prices go up and down by demand. Honestly, myself personally, is not going to spend $250 to see Molly Crew perform live, even if the show is 100% real. There's other things more important in life to spend money on. People have to pay, pay a car bill. People have to pay rent. People have to pay the gas and electric. Can't just be. You just tell, can't tell your landlord, "Oh, I'm buying Molly food tickets. Sorry, I can't pay your rent." Doesn't work that way. No, it doesn't. So, friends, do you think Motley Crue's um, tour performances on the stadium tour were pre-recorded? Let's have your thoughts, friends. Let's have a fair, um, a fair discussion here. Thank you, friends. Motley Crue was their performance fake. Some say yes, some say no. Shame, shame, shame.